Center for the Arts Studio. This is your AU TV 20 News Break. I'm Madison Farrell. Thanks for tuning in. On Tuesday night, the Ashland City Council approved a purchase agreement with Columbus based developer Movement Development. Movement Development offered to buy the pump house for $400,000, which is more than the city purchased it in for October. The pump house office building is planning to have 70 boutique hotel rooms. The city also plans to invest in sidewalks and beautification projects to connect the pump house district to downtown Ashland. Mayor Matt Miller hopes these developments will attract more business investments in the form of coffee shops, gift shops, or restaurants. In a new report, drug shortages are rising and pose a national security risk. From 2021 to 2022, new drug shortages increased by nearly 30 percent. According to the report made by the Senate's Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee, children's medications, antibiotics, and treatment for ADHD are among a number of drugs that have been in short supply for months. The committee is recommending Congress require the Departments of Defense, Homeland Security, and Health and Human Services to conduct supply chain risk assessments and to identify potential national security concerns. Just over a week ago, three friends were sailing across the Pacific Ocean when a whale sank their boat. Their boat hit and injured a whale, which caused water to seep in. It ended up leaving the group stranded in the middle of the ocean on a life raft for roughly nine hours until they are rescued. The boat, called Rain Dancer, sank in 15 minutes. Eventually, another sailing vessel, the Rolling Stones, rescued the group. This is not the first time an incident like this has happened. There have also been about 1,200 reports of whales and boats colliding since a worldwide database launched in 2007. And now look at your Ashland area weather forecast. Today we will see cloudy skies with a high of 53 and a low of 41. On Thursday we will see rain with a high of 61 and a low of 43. On Friday, we will still have rain clouds with a high 46 and a low 35. On Saturday, we will have a high of 64 and a low 37. And on Sunday, the rain clouds will turn into sunny skies with a high of 52 and a low 32. That is it for your AUTV20 news break. Be sure to follow us across all social media at AUTV20. I'm Madison Farrell. Thanks for tuning in.